and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about electric potential. Now <clears throat> this is the basic formula for electric potential and this video in a similar form has been in the first year topic as well. But I'm going to sort of tweak it for the uh, second year here now. So electric potential is represented by this letter E and because we use it for electric potential and we use this for gravitational potential I like trying to disseminate it by putting a little E right there, so I know I'm talking about electric potential. And the definition for electric potential is the energy per unit charge. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things you need to be aware of. This is the energy that if the potential is positive, the field is doing the work for you. So the field, if the potential is positive, this means the field is doing the work for you. Um, so potential is positive, the field is providing the energy. And if it is negative, okay, that means you have to provide the energy, okay? And in both cases, this energy is the energy to leave the field, okay? Okay. Now this Q here isn't the thing, this isn't the charge of the thing causing the field, this is the thing that is in the field. This is the thing that's being affected by the field. So this Q here is the charge affected by the field. I'm going to quickly explain why I mean that they had this um, idea of positive and negative. If my potential is plus 12 volts, okay, if, so this is the thing causing the field, and at this point, it has a potential of plus 12 volts. If my charge is minus 12 coulombs, if I use this equation here to find the energy that's going to be needed, I've got 12 equals energy over minus 12. So the energy is minus 144 joules. That is negative. This means the field is actually, I have to do work. And if you actually look at it, if I had a plus charge here and a negative charge here, so this positive charge is causing a positive potential of 12 volts at this point. This thing is going to be attracted to the object. So this is attraction. Okay. So this no, means you need to supply to remove objects. Okay. Now, if I had a potential, let's just change it a little bit. I have a potential of plus 12 volts at this point, and I have a charge of plus 12 coulombs. So again, using the formula, The energy is a positive number, okay? This means the field gave energy to leave. So what this means here, my positive field here, this positive 12 coulomb charge that's in that field is going to be given energy the field to leave. And you can tell that because it's going to be repelled. So this positive and negative is ridiculously important for potential. Okay? So potential itself is something caused by a field, caused by an object that's making a field. 
To find out the individual energy that an object would feel, you need to then look at the object that's being affected by the field. So just as a quick recap, in terms of gravitational fields, these two objects here have the same potential from the Earth's gravitational field because <clears throat> they're in the same position in the field. However, this one is smaller and lighter than this one. So individually, this one's going to need more energy to leave the field than this one. Okay? So this is the important thing about potential. Potential is about a field, and depending if it's positive or negative, depends if, of course, if you are being given energy by the field or you are needing to add energy in both cases to leave the field. So that is the basics of electric potential.